In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I have owned a Tesla for two years in one of the coldest city in the world with no way to charge at home in minus 30 to 40 degrees Celsius weather. And in this time period of two years, even though I've had some pretty close calls, I've never been stranded on the side of the road. So by the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips and tricks that you can use so you don't end up getting stranded on the side of the road with your Tesla. So I bought my Tesla two years ago at the beginning of 2020 in the middle of a super harsh winter and I lived in an apartment back then and I do still now with no electric vehicle charging. But here's the thing, even though I couldn't plug my Tesla in and the Tesla supercharger costs not as much as gas but they still cost money, I still ended up spending close to zero dollars for the entire two years of ownership for just charging my Tesla and driving it around. So two years ago, when I first bought the car, I couldn't plug it in, I couldn't use the mobile charger. The car was sitting outside in the cold and used to use five to 10% of energy every single night. This energy is used by the Tesla to keep its major instruments warm, so this can go as high as maybe 15 to 20 percent of battery usage when it's like minus 40 to minus 50 degrees celsius and when the tesla is unplugged thankfully two years ago even though i couldn't plug it in at home i used to go to university full time where there was level two free charges that i could use i used to plug in my car in the daytime when i went to classes and then at night the car was probably unplugged because I couldn't really charge it at home so I used that for a couple of months because I didn't have free supercharging back then and those of you who are new to the Tesla world Tesla referral code is something that people could use so if I shared my Tesla referral code with you the person using the Tesla referral code would get 1500 kilometers of free Tesla supercharging as well as myself who would get 1500 kilometers of free supercharging so a lot of people use my referral code which is why I'll have two to three years of free supercharging back then I only had like one or two referrals and I didn't really want to use them up because I wanted to save them up for like a road trip. So what I did was I used to go to my university and charge for free, sometimes even park the car there and walk home because I used to live really close to the university then. And for those of you watching and you're like, my university doesn't have free level two chargers, that's okay. Just download the app called PlugShare. It doesn't necessarily have to be a university. It can be a level two free charger that's near your work, near your home, anything works. For example, I used to go to Ikea a lot and just sit down in the cafeteria, plug my Tesla in because most Ikeas have free level two chargers. Take my laptop with me as well, get some work done as well. And in a couple of hours, the charging would be complete in the Tesla. The level two chargers, again, are not as fast as Tesla superchargers, which will basically charge your car from zero or like 20 to 80% in 20 minutes. And in those winter, it would take you about 30 minutes to charge. But the level two chargers, they do about 40 to 50 kilometers an hour. So they take about six to eight hours to charge. But I didn't really need 60 to 80% of battery charge every time because my Tesla was charged most of the time. So each visit was around like one to two hours. I got some food, got some work done, and that was it. And I went to the university. My classes were usually one to two hours as well. So that was enough for me to go day to day and then charge the car every day. So I'm not a homeowner yet like most people living in apartments and I move around a lot. So after I got the Tesla and it was time for me to move, I looked at places that had these three things that you can follow for yourself as well if you were thinking about getting a Tesla and you live in an apartment. Number one is free electric vehicle charging in the apartment that you move in. Number two is having a level two charger close by. Number three is have a heated parking lot. Honestly, option number one, having a charger in the apartment that you live in is the best option. Even if you don't have heated parking, a charger at home is going to keep your Tesla Tesla fully charged and the battery warm. It'll also use energy from the charger to keep the car warm and not drain the battery when it gets really, really cold. Most EV charging apartments are usually under the category of luxury apartments that has all the amenities that you would need. And they're usually on the pricier side as well. Option two, on the other hand, is a little bit inconvenient, but more cost effective. If you have already downloaded PlugShare, go to PlugShare and see all the level two free chargers that are around your city. Now, when you find a free level two charger on an area you like, just hunt for apartments on that specific area that's in walking distance with the level two charger that you looked at. Option three would be the easiest option in terms of apartment hunting because it would be the easiest thing to find and that is having a heated parking lot. A heated parking lot means your Tesla won't be running all night to keep the major instruments warm, which means you're not gonna be losing five to 10% of battery every single night and another 
5% on top of that to warm the car up in the morning. That means that your Tesla consumes less energy which means you have to make less trips to the Tesla superchargers. For example, the average temperature in Winnipeg is around minus 30 degrees Celsius. And if you park your car outside like I did, I had to go to the supercharger almost every single day versus when I have heated parking right now, where I have to go to the supercharger every other day or every third day. Like I said, I have experienced all these options, all the three options that I gave you guys. And the best option that I could give you guys is option number one. It is going to cost you a little bit more, but it, it will probably be the best option, especially if you live a really busy life. You can try option number two, which is finding a place close to the Tesla superchargers. But again, remember the Tesla supercharger costs money, which is like around $10 for every time you charge, 10 to $14 in the winter. So I took option three because I have so much free supercharging and I don't really mind going to the superchargers. But if I were you and I didn't have any free supercharging and I want it to be cost efficient, I would take option number two is basically downloading PlugShare if you're thinking about buying a Tesla. See the area that you want to live in, see where the level two free charger is located at and get an apartment close to that. I used to do that as well with my university. I used to live clo so close to the university that I literally parked my car in the university and I just skateboarded home. So try and have at least one of all the three options that I mentioned and you will be fine if you don't have a charger at home or if you don't have any means of plugging your car in at home. So if this short video helped you guys out, please, please smash that like button and subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get notified when I upload a new video. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Goodbye.